All right. We have some scary news for you. Nobody is telling you the truth about monkeypox. And that's possibly not really out of them not wanting to tell you the truth, but it appears nobody really knows the truth. Cities across the country warn people, and just in the past few hours, city health departments, that you need to be careful this summer because of monkeypox. Again, it's scary because of what we don't know. Here are some of the headlines. Associated Press, World Health Organization, monkeypox won't turn into pandemic, but many unknowns. Wired, the mystery of monkeypox's global spread. CBS News, mystery monkeypox case in Massachusetts, first confirmed in U.S. Smithsonian Magazine, doctors are stumped by a rare monkeypox outbreak. New York Times, the strange swift spread of monkeypox. Axios, testing squeeze keeps the scope of monkeypox and mysteries. Testing squeeze, almost seems like deja vu from a couple of years ago. I'm old enough to remember when the World Health Organization told us COVID wasn't airborne. Therefore, we shouldn't limit people coming from China. But back to monkeypox. Just a few weeks ago, when anybody worried about monkeypox, they were called an alarmist. Well, maybe you were right. It's now all across the United States. New cases pop up every day. And again, according to Axios, we don't know where all of them are because of testing. Perhaps pop up is the wrong word, considering what monkeypox does to you. It's scary. It can kill you, although so far there are no deaths in America. Dr. Bob Lahida with us, professor of medicine at Rutgers New Jersey Medical School, among other titles. Uh, good to see you, sir. Uh, how is it that we know so little about something that's been around for so long? Well, it's been endemic in other countries, Leland, like Africa. They have had outbreaks of monkeypox over the years. It really was discovered in the 1950s, and humans and monkeys are not the prime uh, source or, or uh, place where the virus begins. It's probably a rodent. Much like Lyme disease, this thing's beginning to pop out all over. This is spread by intimate contact and initially from sexual contact. Men having sex with men, for example, was an outbreak of the monkeypox virus. The poxes arrive first and then you get symptoms. It's rarely a cause of death. The, you know, except it's kind of scary, especially when you look at the pictures. Um, this is, as you pointed out, so far been limited to the gay community. New York Post, monkeypox outbreak may be blamed on sex at European raves. Uh, monkeypox cases traced to Chicago's International Mr. Leather Conference. Uh, gay men need a specific warning about monkeypox. Are we at the point that you could say, if you are not a man who's having sex with other men, pass no judgment on that behavior, but if you're not one of those people, you don't need to worry about this? No, that's not true. Because here you have a virus uh, that is spread like smallpox uh, between people who are intimate. It could be a man and a woman. It could be two women. It could be two men. But if you're close enough to have, say, saliva uh, shot into your face inadvertently, uh, you'll get it. And uh, this is where it is not like COVID, which is spread by respiratory droplets, but monkeypox is intimate body fluid contact. And uh, that's easier uh, than you know. Actually, people do get very close in rooms, say three people in a bar, for example, talking very close, perhaps sharing drinks. Uh, they can easily be infected with monkeypox. Then this whole testing thing seems scary in and of itself. Um, I, I couldn't help but think this was coming and hope it didn't, but it has. The World Health Organization that still can't explain so much about monkeypox has now uh, developed their own uh, group to rename monkeypox to minimize stigma and racism. Uh, really? <laughs> That's news to me, uh, Leland. I mean... <laughs> This is uh, this is related. But you're not surprised, right? <laughs> <laughs> this is related to the pox virus family, of which there are many. Uh, you know, smallpox being the one that everybody knows. And back in the early '70s and in the '60s and '50s, people were immunized against smallpox. And we stopped doing that because smallpox disappeared. But if you were immunized against smallpox, you're likely protected against monkeypox. But that remembers the early 70s and during the 60s and 50s. So the young generation has had no immunological exposure to something like uh, monkeypox. I'm glad you brought up immunizations because there's new word that the government uh, 
CDC, FDA, et cetera, is ordering hundreds of thousands of vaccines for monkeypox and smallpox. Do they know something we don't? Because at the same time, they're telling us this is limited and there's only a couple of hundred cases, and then they're ordering hundreds of thousands of vaccines. Well, as with every disease, Leland, uh, there are vulnerable people. As we know with COVID, there are people whose immune systems are quite liable, who get COVID and die very quickly, young people, healthy people. The same thing is possible with monkeypox. We simply do not know who's vulnerable and who's not. We know, for example, with COVID that the elderly, those who are immunosuppressed, those who have cancers or autoimmune diseases are at great risk. Huh. Now, we don't know who's at great risk with monkeypox, but it's probably going to be the same cadre of people who have de defective immune function. And we simply huh. don't know who they are yet. Well, uh, scary enough uh, at that and scary to think of all the things we don't know. Uh, Doc, it's good to see you again. Thank you. Thank you, Leland. All right. On Thanks for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to subscribe. Click the red button to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.